So Andrew, why is Peter choose classified as superfood uh, in an athlete's diet? Well, we're finding more and more research evidence now to suggest that taking beetroot and beetroot juice has uh, various positive effects on health and performance. So it contains a lot of nitrate, which is reduced in the body to nitrite and to nitric oxide. And these things seem to help in reducing blood pressure at rest, and that can have positive benefits on cardiovascular health. But it also seems to reduce the energy and the oxygen cost of exercise. And that translates often in endurance athletes into enhanced performance. What that does mean actually, does that mean that um, I can train longer or harder? Possibly both. So you may be able to exercise at the same work rate for a bit longer, but what you may prefer to do instead is actually exercise at a higher intensity for the same duration. So we find that um, you know, there's a lower oxygen cost of exercising at a particular work rate, but while you exercise you might want to fix the effort that you work at, but in so doing you might be exercising at a slightly higher power output, and that could be beneficial in terms of the adaptations that you experience to training. And can you give me some advice on how much beetroot juice uh, should be ingested and during which timeline prior to competition? Yeah, so um, in our original studies, our early studies, we used half a litre per day of beetroot juice in two doses of 250 millilitres. And that contained, over the course of a day, around six millimoles of nitrate. But there are, uh, there's the possibility now to buy beetroot juice shots where the nitrate mm -hmm. in the juice has become concentrated. So now you can get the same amount of nitrate, five or six millimoles, in a much smaller uh, volume beverage, around 70 mils. In terms of when you take it, um, there's, uh, I think it's, it's useful to take it some two to three hours prior to exercise mm -hmm. because it takes that long for the nitrate to be processed into nitrite in the body. Mm -hmm. But there's some evidence nowadays that actually consuming the nitrate for a few days prior to competition, in addition to supplementing a few hours prior to competition, may be the best uh, approach to take. And would it be helpful to drink beetroot uh, juice every day? We don't know for sure at the moment. I don't think that it would um, do, do any harm, but we, uh, we need to see whether it, how it interacts with the training response. If we can find a better training uh, effect with each training session as a consequence of consuming beetroot juice, then it may well be beneficial to take it continuously or on a more chronic basis. But um, the evidence on that is relatively weak at the moment. We just haven't done those longer term studies. And uh, like me, I don't really like the taste of beetroot juice. And I know that there are other um, vegetable sources which, which contain large amounts of this energy booster nitrate. Um, can you tell me a bit more? I mean, can I also eat like a plate of spinach? Mm. Yeah, so nitrate is contained in a number of green leafy vegetables, so beetroot is one source of nitrate, mm -hmm. but there's also uh, plentiful nitrate in spinach and lettuce and rocket uh, and various other fruits and vegetables as well, so consuming more of those products may have very similar effects. The, the only problem is that although beetroot or spinach does have a high nitrate content on average, you never quite know how much it contains when it's there on your plate because the, uh, the growing conditions of the vegetable, the time of year at which it was grown, the amount of time it's spent on the shelf before you purchased it can all vary and can all influence the nitrate content. So if you want a controlled dose of nitrate then beetroot juice is probably quite a good way to go. And I'm, I'm eating a lot of uh, vegetable, I mean really large amounts every day. Could that be one of the reasons why I don't really feel a benefit if I take a, a beetroot supplement prior to a competition? Yeah, I think that's possible. I think the, um, the degree to which a person responds to beetroot juice may depend upon their baseline nitrate in their diet. So if you already have a high plasma nitrite mm -hmm. concentration, then it may, uh, may be more difficult to boost that following a standard beetroot juice beverage. But of course what we don't know is whether additional supplementation or longer term supplementation may be beneficial. Uh, f for you in that particular case. But there may be some responders and some non-responders to this particular intervention. And that's again something that we're just trying to tease out in our, res in our research at the moment.